Hey guys, it's me, Sienna. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys how I made this custom home screen with the new iOS 14. First up is making sure that you are up to date with the iOS 14, making sure that you can actually use the widget customization. The next step, and this is totally up to you, but if you do want custom icons, or if you want to change the app logos at all, you're going to want to find a selection of photos that are like. You can put them into a theme. You can make your own logos. I ended up doing that. So I went through Pinterest. You can look up like free icons. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of free icons you can use. There are some available on Etsy if you want to follow the same theme. I went through, found the ones I liked, and then just edited them, um, did my own background. Of course, I went with this like beige cream color and uh, basically just went onto any Photoshop or superimpose type app. Totally up to you. You can just do photos you already have on your phone or you can, like I said, just do Pinterest. Now for the widgets. So I'm going to show widgets first because a lot of people still might not want to customize the icons. Widgets, super easy. All you download is the app Widget Smith, as you can see here. Super easy, um, free. You click on it and you get all your widgets. So there's small, medium, and large. You can add as many as you want. Um, right here, I just have the calendar time and then I have a photo. And then on the mediums, I have like fillers for the other pages and a calendar on the last one. Like I'll show you here. Now what I will say with Widget Smith, if you want to do photos, so let me show you right here, I have a medium. When you click on that, you can do default or add a timed. I have not messed around with the add a timed one, but under the default, you're gonna wanna make a photo album of all photos you want it to display. Otherwise, you cannot just select it from your camera roll. Make sure you put in a photo album that will get you smooth sailing. For all these other ones, if you wanted to see what you could do, like. Let me make a new one, for example. There are quite a bit of options, as you can see here. So you can actually mess with the layout, you can mess with what it actually does, as well as the font. I do like New York. I think New York is the most appealing to the eye. Mess with the tint color and the background. I go for more of the gray, beige, pink. So epic, epic, epic. So say we're gonna put the small number one widget onto my home screen. All you're gonna do, find an empty space or edit your home screen. And then at the top left, there's a plus. This plus icon will allow you to scroll down and go to Widget Smith, where you can slide to whatever size you wanted. Click on it, hit add widget, done. And then not only that, but if you hold it down again on it, you can actually edit it and then pick from which one you wanted. Super easy, super simple, and you just delete it when you want to delete it. So on to the icons. Now this has been the <laughs> most requested. For me, it took a little bit to find someone that would actually show it, and I'm not exactly sure why, but without further ado, let me show you, for example, if we were doing Instagram. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to go to shortcuts. You can just type it up here, or if you have it, you can just do that. You're going to hit the addition sign, and you're going to want to add an action. Under actions, you're going to type open app. And then pick for scripting, pick what app you want. I have a gazillion, so whatever you want. So we're going to do Instagram. We're going to pretend to do Instagram. You can either click on the three dots or you can do that later but i just choose to do it now it's easier and you're going to want to add it to your home screen rename it instagram um personally you can download fonts and that will actually open up a keyboard that gives you these very very fancy fonts but i chose to just do capitals of the regular font so I would have done it like this. And next Instagram, you click on that and hit choose photo. Now I have a gazillion different vectors that I've edited. And let's find the, here is the Instagram one. So I zoomed in pretty big. I zoomed in probably about there. Choose, add, and then all you do is hit done. 
and then next. <laughs> then you want to name it so you can edit it later on if you have to. Boom, it's there and it will pop up on your home screen. All right, there it is. You see it? And you're just going to want to drag it to wherever you had it because I recommend uh, you're probably going to forget what things look like once you have new logos. Once you do that, super easy, just delete the um, app. So for example, these are ones I still haven't edited. You just hit the minus icon and move it to the app library. Don't delete it. That way it can still reroute itself through scripting and you're good to go. I guess for editing the icons themselves, I will demonstrate that real quick. I just use superimpose. I believe it's still free. Take whatever background color you want. Try to crop it by a one by one ratio. And then the vector that you want. So we'll just use this little book. <clears throat> I mask it with the magic wand, taking out all the white. And then under transform, I add overlay. And that seems the most appealing. And then boom, there you go. You save it. For the um, app logos, you do not need to make a custom photo album. That's just for the widgets. The only con would be the fact that when you click on it, it will add an extra second of the shortcut page and then it will take you on to the actual app itself. Once you customize your home screen and you do the icons through shortcuts, it will not display a notification bubble for that app. So just be aware, like for example, I have a gazillion emails on my Gmail and there's nothing there. And I mean, that could be a good thing. It does kind of ruin the look of everything when you have the big red numbers. But just if that's really important to you, um, you're still gonna get notifications through the app library, but it's not very cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or concerns, please feel free to let me know below or message me. I know this was a very quick tutorial, so if you do have any further questions, please do not hesitate to comment below and I will get back to you. Have fun, guys. I know this took a while for me to actually do all of this. Probably took about three hours, four hours. Um, but yeah, just have fun. It's awesome. I, like, I, I'm seriously obsessed. And all the Android people are probably making fun of us because they could do this for like forever. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.